Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm Josh Strife Hayes, and this is Super Simple Quest Guides, easy to follow quest guides for old school RuneScape. Today, we're helping King Arthur seek the Holy Grail. For this quest, you'll need 20 attack, but higher melee stats are useful, and you must have completed Merlin's Crystal. For items, you'll need Excalibur, 60 coins, and the highest halberd you can wield. It's useful to have up to 120 coins, teleports to Camelot and Falador, and an anti-poison if you're below level 41 combat. And, as always, bring food. You'll need to defeat a level 120 Black Knight Titan. He's got high mage and range defense, so we'll kill him with melee. But don't worry, there's a safe spot. That's what the halberd is for. As usual, any conversation with branching choices will have the correct number choice displayed above the chat box. To start the quest, speak to King Arthur in Camelot Castle, and he'll explain the Holy Grail is somewhere in Gilinor and wants you to find it. He'll ask you to go and talk to Merlin. Head up the stairs in the room you're in, then into the eastern room above you. Merlin won't show up on the minimap until you're actually in the room. Merlin will explain the Holy Grail is likely in a holy place, and you'll need to speak to Galahad for more info. The holy place he's talking about is Entrana, the island of peaceful Saradomin monks. You can't take any weapon or armor there, so bank anything that has any stats, then make your way to Port Sarim, south of Falador. At Port Sarim, choose the Take Boat option on any Monk of Entrana. Once on the island, head to the northwestern main church and speak to the High Priest. He'll say the Grail was here but isn't anymore. Then an old crone will interrupt your conversation and explain the Fisher King is in pain and she'll tell you to go where the six heads face and blow a whistle, whatever that means. It's starting to feel like a real quest now. The next step is to speak to Galahad. His house is west of Magruba's Wood, near Sears Village. So head on over to Sears Village. On your way, make sure to pop into the bank and grab your stuff. Remember, armor and weapons, including a halberd and Excalibur, anti-poison, coins, food, and teleports. Once you're back in Sears Village, head to the western side of Magruba's Wood, into Galahad's hut, and chat to him. The Grail resides in the Fisher King's realm, and to get to the realm, you'll need an item from the realm. It happens that Galahad took a tablecloth with him when he was there last, and he's willing to give it to you. Once we have the tablecloth in our inventory, we'll be able to see even more items from the Fisher King's realm, and our next step is to travel all the way to Draenor Manor, north of Draenor Village. So make your way there now. At Draenor Manor, head inside, up the steps, up the spiral staircase to the top floor, and head to the southern room. You'll see two magic whistles on the table. Take both of them. With these whistles, we'll be able to enter the Fisher King's realm. Make sure you have your things from the bank, because now we need to go to Brimhaven. The quick methods would be the Fairy Ring Network, taking a boat from Ardoing, or using the Fight Pit minigame teleport. I choose to walk to Port Sarim, take the boat to Musa Point, and then walk west. Whichever method, head over to Brimhaven. Now we need to head to the northwestern tip of the landmass that pokes into the ocean. There are poisonous scorpions around here, so if you're under 41 combat, drink an anti-poison. You'll want to head to the base of the guard tower, the one that's just north of the small mining symbol on the minimap. Stand underneath it 
then blow one of the whistles in your inventory. This teleports us to the Fisher King's realm. We need to cross over this bridge to the west, but there's a Black Knight Titan guarding it. He's almost immune to range and mage, so we have to melee him, but he's level 120. However, he won't move from where he's standing. So if you equip a Halberd, you can safely kill him without taking any damage. However, the very last hit must be dealt by Excalibur, otherwise he'll regain full health. When he's at low HP, equip Excalibur, click attack, then instantly click away. You'll get a hit in and move back before he can retaliate. Do this enough times and you'll kill him and take absolutely no damage. Once he's dead, walk south following the river and talk to a fisherman. Ask how to get into the castle and he'll tell you to ring one of the bells outside. It's important to note that the bells only spawn once you've talked to this fisherman. Once you've spoken to him, make your way toward the castle. It's up the hill and to the south. Pick up the grail bell and ring it while standing by the destroyed wall. A grail maiden will invite you inside. Once inside, head up the spiral staircase and talk to the Fisher King. Tell him you seek the Holy Grail and he'll explain a questing knight is destined to restore his land to glory and claim the Grail as their prize. The King doesn't know how you could do this, but does ask you to find his son, Percival, who is, like you, a Knight of the Round Table. We now need to speak to King Arthur about Percival. Blow one of the whistles to leave the Fisher Realm, then head back to Camelot. Teleporting is faster, walking can take some time. If you do walk, you'll need to pay the ship transport fee again. This is where the coins come in. At Camelot, ask King Arthur about Percival. He'll tell you a young knight called Percival set off on a quest a few months ago and hasn't come back yet. Apparently he was following the directions of a magical golden feather. Arthur will give you an identical feather, so by following that we should find Percival. Interacting with the golden feather will point you in a direction, and by following it completely you'll end up in Goblin Village, north of Falador. In the eastern building in Goblin Village, use the open option, not prod, on the sack and you'll find Percival. Explain you can make him into a king, then give him one of the magic whistles. Now you'll need to go back to the Fisher Realm. That means heading all the way back to Brimhaven, running past the Poison Scorpions and blowing the whistle whilst under the guard tower. Back in the Fisher Realm you'll see it's all green and nice, so head to the castle. You don't need to ring the Grail Bell because there's a door now. Go up the Eastern Staircase, then up the ladder, and take the Holy Grail from the table. With the Grail collected, all that's left to do is make your way all the way back to Camelot and give it to King Arthur. You can teleport straight there, or if you want this quest to take even longer, you can walk. Remember to blow the whistle to leave the Fisher Realm. Talk to King Arthur, hand the Holy Grail over and finish the quest. You'll be rewarded with two quest points, 11,000 prayer experience and 15,300 defense experience. Thanks for watching. Make sure to look out for the audio drama rewrite of this quest in my connected series, Trouble and Strife 
a RuneScape audio drama. All these guides are made possible by the support of viewers like you through Patreon. If you'd like to become a patron, then click the link in the description below. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help. Thanks for your time, and have a great day.